Hey guys, good to have you back. Hope you all had a lovely weekend. If you are new here and visiting for the first time, hi, my name is Margaret. I am from the Netherlands and I'm a paper crafter, junk journaler and crafter in general. Uh, I have some sort of a prototype on my desk today. It's very prototypey, I must say. I made it from a piece of, um, well, less love scrapbook paper. Uh, let's call it a wallet. I'm going to make a wallet with you guys, yeah? Let me tell you what we'll be needing today. The prototype I've made uh, from scrapbook paper, but you don't need to have scrapbook paper. It um, Normal copy paper will do. This is actually a little bit heavier than normal copy paper. This is 100 uh, grams, so I just wanted to try it out. So a piece of paper that you really like. Yeah, um, the basics. I want some glue. Uh, I want an exacto knife. You need some sort of a knife. I think that's the best way to go with what we're doing. You need a ruler, scissors, or a paper cutter. If you have a bone folder or use um, the handle of your scissors, that could also work. If you've got any, um, a scoreboard will do. Yeah, that will be nice. Not necessary. I have a cropper dial. I want to make small holes or use anything else that will make uh, that will punch a very small hole. Then optional a corner rounder. I just love that. And I have these small Velcro dots for a closure. Hopefully you have them. If you don't, I'm gonna think about another type of closure. But this is wonderful. Uh, you need it. You need it. Okay. Well, mom, it's a, it's going to be a rather simple one. Let's get started. Let me show you how I use this wallet. You can use it as is, as a standalone piece. Uh, I've made a, a larger tab because I really wanted this to be in a journal and then be functional as a tab as well. Uh, you can send it in Happy Mail or put it in a pocket in your journal. It has two pockets here, then have a pocket here and then the slots. And uh, you could also have a pocket here and here. So that is one way uh, that you can use this. You can also use it in a different way in a journal. Let me show you. This is a very old journal I have. And this is sort of a similar uh, project. Again, a wallet like this with pockets. And then I just put it in a signature all around my signature. Like so. Yeah, so you can use it like this. But th then you don't need the closure. You could also use it uh, the other way around. So... <clears throat> If you make this, don't fold it in like so, but fold it the other way around, without the closure of course, and then put it on a pocket, on a, on a page like so, to make new pockets. So you, you can clip it on with a paper clip of course, that you can do, or glue it on on two sides here. So you have pocket, 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 and on the other side again, glue it here and here, then you have the slots, pocket, pocket. So one prototype ways to use it um i am going to make this version so as a standalone piece let me show you what paper i'm going to use this again is a uh, vintage by me i just love their designs i printed it double-sided doesn't need to be but i just want um if you open up the wallet to, to have something cute on the inside and not just plain white paper that's the only reason why i um, printed it double-sided. This is an A4 sheet. You can also use letter. Now, if you are going to use scrapbook paper, the scrapbook paper will be too big. Your scrapbook will be 12 by 12. Cut off a strip of 4 by 12. So this will be 8. 8 inches by 12 inches. Otherwise, it will be, in my opinion, too big. Okay, let's get started. The basics are very simple. You could be really exact and then measure it out in three equal parts. I'm just going to sort of eyeball it. It doesn't really, really matter. But try to have these three pieces when I fold them to be sort of equal. So I want to have this to be the front. Lining it up. See? And like so. And then this piece will be sort of equal to this one. And I'm going to cut this strip off. Yeah, that's the only thing we're going to cut for now. No, no, no. We'll cut, we'll cut some other bits 
later. So you could measure it, have it in three, the exact same measurements or no, eyeball it. Doesn't need to be like really precise. Or you could just use your scissors, of course. So we now have two strips. We have this one and this one. Wow, this is so, so very lovely. Yes, this is going to be your uh, wallet. Yeah, fold it like so and then fold it in half again. Very difficult, right? Yes, no, it's, it is very, very simple. So now you have your basis for your um, sort of wallet. This is upside down because the paper is directional, but does, that doesn't really matter because we're going to cover this with the slots and the little pocket. Yes, like so. Now what you can do is round corners, ink all around it, and then start gluing. Um, what I want to do, I didn't do that on this one, is to make some sort of indentation here that there's another, and there's another pocket. Which means that this piece has to be smaller, but that we can do that. So before I glue this down, we're going to glue it in the middle and on both sides. I'm going to make this indentation. So yeah, sorry. You're also going to need a, a circle punch or very good cutting skills. <laughs> As always, I'm eyeballing this. I'm not going to make a deep notch, just a small one, because I also want the slots to be here. Yep. See, and then you see a little bit of the inside. I just like to be, to have paper that is printed on both sides. Um, also going to ink it. Yes, I'm quickly going to ink it before I glue it down and I'm using don't worry guys, I'm not going to do it on camera. I'm going to do it off camera. I'm just going to so show you what I'm using. Uh, walnut stain. Why not walnut stain? So I'm going to ink all around it on all sides. Also want the middle part to be inked and this part to be inked. So be right back. So it's inked all around and on the inside and all, you know, everywhere that will be visible. Okay, now I am going to glue some parts down. You could also sew it. Um, still not <laughs> tried my sewing machine. I am sorry. I have been very busy guys. We're also doing some renovations in the house. And um, so yeah, it's, it's a very busy, busy time for me. And I'm also doing some preparations for the Junk Journal July because I'm going to do it. Yes, I've decided I'm going to do Junk Journal July. However, Guys, um, I want to do, I want to have social life. <laughs> so I don't think I'll be doing them during the weekend. So I will be doing them like five videos a week, maybe six. Well, I don't know. So I cannot do all the projects, the, um, what's them call it? The prompts. I cannot do all the prompts, but that's a good thing because there were some prompts in the list that I was like, how, why, and what? I don't know. I didn't have any inspiration to do any of that. So it is glued on. Now we are going to make slots. Slots are a little bit more difficult and a pocket. Well, a pocket is sort of self-explanatory. Yeah. I'm going to fold this in again. No measuring required. I'm just going to fold this in. Um, actually, I'm going to have this part this pocket a little bit bigger than the other one just decided that like half an inch or something yes uh, you can use scissors but this uh, for me works better because I'm rubbish with scissors there you go So now, why did I make this a little bit bigger? Because I want the pockets, the pocket on here to um, have a little bit more room. So I made some edges that folded on the inside. That probably has a technical name. Don't know what it is. <laughs> so I'm very sorry. Taking out my uh, small scoreboard, I am scoring at a quarter of an inch. Please stay, piece of paper. 
quarter of an inch here. Yes. And then turning it and then on the bottom, I'm also going to score a quarter of an inch. And then turning it again on the other side. So only not on the top, on the top, I will not be scoring it. There you go. So we have like a couple of scores now and then we have this sort of corner and I'm going to cut that corner off on the line. There you go. Here's one. And here's one, especially when you use a scrapbook paper. Now I'm going to fold them nicely. These two and then the one on the bottom. If we would have left the corners, it would create a sort of a bulk here on these on these points. So that is why I always snip them away. What I'm also going to do is snip a little bit on the top, just a tiny bit, just a sliver at an angle. So I'm sure it won't stick out of the pocket on the top. Making a notch. Again, just a small one. Hopefully this is not too wide. No, 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 it'll fit on here. See, pocket, pocket. Yeah. Quickly inking it. So which ones of you are going to do the junk journal challenge, July? Let me know, I'm very curious. I'll be making, um, on day one, <laughs> I'll be making a special journal for it. Well, it's going to be a very simple journal um, because I think it's going to be a fat one. Okay, so now we have this. Make sure it's really folded down. Taking out my glue. Simple, simple. Just... Glue it down. You can use glue tape if you want to, or normal glue. I want these to match up. Yep. Well, that's a simple pocket. This is going to be the pocket with the slots. If I glue it like this, you, you can see this will be a little bit too high. So I am going to take off just the tiniest bit to make it a little bit smaller. Uh, and also this is going to be a little bit more difficult than just making a pocket like this one. As you can see, I took off just the tiniest bit on the top. Make a decision now if you want to have this on this side or if you want to flip it around. I just want to be have this on the front okay what i did with the prototype was all sort of measuring measuring this and space this out and i was thinking that is boring is there a faster solution there is um what i'm going to do uh, hopefully if you're using scrapbook paper it will not be the toughest scrapbook paper that you have i am just gently going to bend it i am not going to fold it i am going to bend it yeah and have the corners meet like so and then hold it really really tightly i am using my um crocodile it had uh, i'm going to use the smaller setting and then also use this bit yeah you can move this about all the way to the end or to the front or what have you i'm going to have it at like a little bit over a quarter of an inch yeah, then so um, each punch I will hold will have the same distance. Yeah, okay. So again, I am lining this up. If you're not using a crocodile, but maybe an awl or something, punch with your awl now. And also, I'm going to eyeball where I want the slots to be. Of course, not all the way to the top, a little bit from the top. Put it all the way up and up onto the edge. 
where we put this thingy. Yep. Yeah. Again, one underneath, and then the last one on the bottom. Yeah. No measuring. And then we have the holes on the exact opposite sides from each other. Ta-da! Good trick. Good trick. Good. Now we need our exacto knife or a Stanley knife. A knife. Guys, I've zoomed you in a little bit because this is going to be a little bit tricky. There are circles, punches, holes on both sides. And I want to make a slot in between these. So I'm going to do it like this because that is a better angle for me. Can you see what I'm doing? Yeah. I am not going to put my ruler in the exact middle of these uh, two holes, but a little bit, in this case, on the left side. Have them equal. Yeah. And then just carefully cut a line between the two circles not go not, do not go past the circle yeah just between these two then i'm going to flip the whole thing over make another line very tiny small strip that we are removing can you see what i'm doing hopefully you can again do not cut past the two small holes and in that way See, you have a small slot. You want me to show you again? Well, I have to do two more, so there you go, one on each side. There are um, dies for this. I do have a die for this, but I also understand that no, but not everybody has that die or die cut machine for that matter. And this is how I used to do it before I had that die. And to be honest, it's a fun process, so why not? And then the last one. I did do this before in a video somewhere. I cannot remember which one it was, but I did it. I believe it was in the one that I did a Joey the Feast project. I will link that video below. That was a nice video. Look, slots, yeah. Now, before I glue it down, I just like the look of rounded corners on this piece, so. But this is, in my opinion, a little bit too flimsy for my corner punch. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take a piece of scrapbook paper. I still have this. I'm going to line this up. This is not necessary at all. If you do not want rounded corners, don't do the rounded corners. Um, let's have seven millimeters. Yep. Why am I doing this? If I put my um, flimsy piece of paper, well, it's not that flimsy because it's uh, 100 grams. It's a little bit heavier than normal copy paper. Uh, my corner punch does not really like that, so I'm tricking it, thinking that it will be much heavier paper. And the last one. inking it up it's all inked up so now we need to glue it down pretty self-explanatory i'm going to glue all four sides just all around it if this was a real wallet this would be the place for the credit cards and such
Then I'm going to glue it down, making sure not to cover the notch over here. Yep. Cute, right? Yeah. Um, I'm going to make a closure. Or you can now have this this way around uh, on a pocket or this way around uh, on, a, on a page, I mean. Or um, this way around, I'm going to make the whole wallet thing with a closure. Um, I'm using this tab. This is from a um, die cut set that I've used many, many times. I didn't want to punch new ones. I have these like neutral ones. They're a little bit too plain for this project, I believe. So I'm going to ink them up first with a, you know, let's do a tea dye. Let's do the tea dye. Just grunging it up a tiny bit, yeah. And I'm going to put a um, stamp on it. Yeah, I think so. Also the inside because I'm gonna be visible for a little bit, yeah. And because there are a lot of sort of postage marks on here, I took out this sort of stamp set with some postage marks. I thought that would be nice. This says Berlin and I don't know what this says. Spain. Um, yep. Let's use the walnut stain. Why not? Because it's right in front of me. This can be the outside. Let's have, oh, Barcelona's on here now. And let's do Berlin on the other side. And Berlin. And then maybe a small piece of Spain on the bottom. Yeah, see, it looks nicer now. Just some little bit of stamping. Okay, uh, I'm going to glue this bit over here and then that is going to be the closure before i do that i am going to fold it in gently yes do i want something on the inside i think so i'm gonna go like so and another stamp here yes i want i want to be something on the inside Let's do Berlin here and Barcelona. Yeah. That looks much better. So, uh, why did I do that? There's going to be a Velcro dot on here. <laughs> That's okay. Gluing one piece down over here. On this side. I'm not going to make this into a tap like the other one. This is just going to be a normal closure. Yep. And then I am taking out my uh, Velcro dots. Before I had Velcro dots, I had a strip of Velcro in a whole roll. Uh, and, I, and at that time, I just cut out little pieces. I did think about a uh, sort of a different closure, but I didn't come up with anything similar to this. So I'm sorry, I'm just going to use my Velcro dots. If you don't have any, you can order them. They are available on Amazon. I know that for sure. Uh, if you want, I do not have an uh, Amazon affiliate link, but I do know that Melina, uh, I think Melina has them either in her shop or she has an affiliate link for Amazon. I'm almost certain, or maybe even Julie, Camille Craft Design. If you are using these, have the fuzzy bit on the inside of um, that one. <laughs> and then the clear bit is going to be on the wallet itself. Because in that way, you will hardly see it. So that's my reasoning for this. So closure it's already cute just want to do a little bit of decorating uh, I have my uh, small box with stuff that is playing on my desk I'll probably find some lovely things in here 
don't even know what's in here. Well, that's okay. Let's have a bit of this. This is nice with 11p. Yeah. Something else. Give me some numbers. No, that is too red. No, I'm just going to have this. Or this. Doesn't work. I'm going for this one. I'm using um, art glitter glue because, you know, that was nearby. But you don't have to use art glitter glue for this. You could also make a pocket on the front, but it already has so many pockets. And also, it's already so nicely decorated. It doesn't really need all of this that I'm putting on. But, you know, for the sake of decorating, let's, dec let's just decorate it. And then have one on the back. Let's have this one on the back. That looks nice, yeah? With some numbers. We can do that with a longer one. No. Gonna go with this one. Again, it really doesn't need any decorating because it's already so very beautiful. You can do a much better job with glue and love. I know, I know. I know. What was this? A broad. No, I'm going to go for the numbers. Like so. I did put in a couple of small little cards just to show you how that will work in the pockets. So you need something here. Don't know, don't know. Oh, we have like Tracy Fox label. Yeah, let's just do it. Let's just do another Tracy. Why not? There you go. <coughs> I'm sorry, I had to cough. And a big 16. Yes! Lovely. Let's see the end result. Here it is. The little wallet. Let's call it a wallet. Yeah. Um, you can open it like so. We could have done this the other way around. That would have been better. Yes. Glue this on this side and on this side. You know. But hey. Doesn't really matter. Now it opens like this. Yeah. Then we have a pocket here. Here. Here a pocket. And then these cute little slots that we made. Yes, have it in happy mail or put it in a journal or do not use the closure and have it in a signature. I love it. Guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions about, well, there are no measurements, but any questions about anything, please let me know. Hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe. And I'll see you back again probably uh, tomorrow or the day after. But really, really soon. Thanks for hanging out. Bye, guys.